Now, let us know about chemosynthesis. Chemosynthesis is a process by which certain organisms synthesize carbohydrates by using the energy obtained by the oxidation of inorganic substances. Most of the bacteria obtain their food materials from external sources and they cannot synthesize their food by themselves, called heterotropic organism. Whereas, some bacteria are capable of synthesizing their food either by photosynthesis or chemosynthesis. Organisms which use sunlight energy for synthesis of food materials are called photosynthetic organisms or photoautotrophs. Those organisms which use chemical energy for the synthesis of carbon compounds are called chemosynthetic organisms. There are two groups of chemosynthetic organisms namely chemosynthetic autotrophs and chemosynthetic heterotrophs. What are chemosynthetic organisms? Those organisms which use chemical energy for the synthesis of carbon compounds are called chemosynthetic organisms. What are chemosynthetic autotrophs? Examples for chemosynthetic autotrophs are Nitrosomonas Begiatova Nitrosomonas oxidizes ammonia into nitrite. The energy liberated during this process is used for the synthesis of carbohydrates. Ammonia plus oxygen forms nitrogen dioxide plus water plus hydrogen plus energy. Begiatova oxidizes hydrogen sulfide to sulfur and water. During this, the energy is released and used for its growth. Sulfur is stored as granules inside the cell. Hydrogen sulfide plus oxygen forms water plus sulfur plus energy. What do you know about the chemosynthetic heterotrophs? Examples for chemosynthetic heterotrophs are fungi, most bacteria, animals and man. These organisms cannot prepare their food materials, hence they are heterotrophs. They obtain the energy for growth by chemical reactions, that is, by oxidizing the organic compounds. Example, energy is released when glucose is oxidized in the process of respiration. Thus, these organisms are chemosynthetic heterotrophs.